how often do I do research in the field? I would say about four to eight times a month. So depending on the season, sometimes about twice a week, sometimes, you know, no times in the week, um, but four to eight uh, times per month, I would say, during the high season. I'm currently in the field pretty often because I'm looking for a worm that I hope to work on in the lab, but most of the time I'm in the lab um, on a general basis. We're probably isolating bacteria from environmental samples once or twice a year. Uh, could be more often if collaborators are involved, but usually just once or twice a year. Now that I am where I am, I don't do a ton of research in the field. Um, maybe only once a week as it is, I do a lot more stuff in the lab. When I was doing my PhD, it was the whole first year because I worked with sea turtles and sampling is opportunistic. So we would go every other week if the weather allowed. But now, because we have a hospital here, we get the samples from the hospital so we don't go to the field. I travel all over the world looking for the animals that are most appropriate for me to work on. And so I do not hesitate to move into the field to try to find uh, the, the appropriate organisms. However, it's pretty clear that um, you can spend many, many, many hours in the field looking for organisms or trying to set up uh, study sites and things like that. When you could take the same organisms and bring them into the laboratory and be much more efficient and get a lot more work done when the organisms are actually in the laboratory. You can put them in a defined environment, you can get them to spawn, for example, or feed them on a regular schedule. And it's uh, no accident that much of the work is done in the laboratory because we are able to control the environmental conditions that are most appropriate for the organisms we study. Now, having said that, there are many kinds of questions which can only be answered in the field, and you have to uh, work in the field and establish uh, field sites that you can go back to regularly and monitor and look at changes over time. But um, those kinds of questions are always subject to um, things like hurricanes and bad weather, and every year is a little bit different from one another. And so it's, um, it's very nice to be able to control the conditions more carefully in the laboratory so that you can ask very specific questions and get the kinds of answers that you're interested in. I am mostly in the lab. I am pretty much in the lab almost all the time. We do go down to the Keys to collect jellyfish. During my PhD, I used to do a little bit of field research once or twice a year. Um, I was on coral research, so we would collect animals. But at the moment, all of our animals are lab animals. For my PhD and my first postdoc, I spent a lot of time um, working on coral reefs from Mississippi. So I would spend nine months working on stuff in the lab in Mississippi, and then once a year, spend about three months down in Mexico. When that changed to my postdoc, when I was working on local rivers, I would go out every couple of weeks. So it really just depended on the project at the time. In my current position, almost not at all. In my prior position, basically every week. So it really depends on what lab you're in. So currently I'm in um, a lab that works on zebrafish. All of our research is done internally. We have all of our animals. Previously, I was working in a lab that did uh, a variety of work on fish behavior, but we got to, we were working with red drums, so we got to kind of travel out in the field uh, multiple times a week, catching animals and bringing them in to experiment them, on them and going out catching more animals, uh, doing the tracking surveys, things of that nature. So it really depends on what lab you're going to be in, how much in-field versus uh, in the lab you're going to do.